GT5, Henderson, and Las Vegas. Fox 5 for Southern Nevada. Hi, I'm Jonathan Fricks. Welcome to the Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon. Our series has beamed into your living room for the last seven years. And in a recent nationwide survey, we calculated your call-in votes to determine the five most popular episodes. Leading off our marathon is an ingenious story that enabled us to bring back one of the most beloved characters from the original Star Trek series, who often said things like, I can't give you much more, Captain. As our Star Trek The Next Generation marathon begins, here is your fifth favorite episode, Relics. You've just seen Relics, which placed fifth in our Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon. Here's an interesting fact. The producers had to rebuild the original Enterprise bridge using blueprints from the first series and by borrowing a replica of the captain's chair from a loyal fan. Coming up next, the fourth place winner on our Viewer's Choice Marathon. Hi, I'm Jonathan Frakes. Welcome to the second installment of the Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon where you, the viewer, selected the top five episodes of all time. The fourth place winner was one of the most mind-boggling scenarios ever created. Imagine living an 80-year lifetime in the space of half an hour. That's exactly what happens to Captain Picard. He has a wife and a family, and all the experiences of another man's existence. To add a touch of realism, Patrick Stewart's own son, Daniel, was cast to play his son in the alternate lifetime. As our marathon continues, here's the fourth most popular episode, The Inner Light. I hope you enjoyed The Inner Light, the fourth place winner in our Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon. Amazingly enough, all those outdoor scenes in the city you just saw were filmed entirely indoors at Paramount Studios. Coming up next, more Star Trek The Next Generation excitement as we announce the third winner in our Viewer's Choice Marathon. End of an incredible legend draws near. I'm moving back and forth through time. The past, the present, and the future are about to collide. We are defenseless. And the fate of all mankind depends on one man. All hands brace for impact. <laughs> Goodbye, Jean-Luc. All good things must come to an end. On the spectacular two-hour final episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Monday night at 10, here on Fox 5. Hi. I'm Jonathan Frakes, and you're watching the Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon. Here's the third place winner. Some of the most intriguing stories we've ever done have involved alternate realities. In this episode, an enterprise from the past meets an enterprise from the present, changing the entire course of history. But that's not all. The episode marks the welcome return of Denise Crosby as Tasha Yar, who died tragically during our first season. From a 24th century loophole found in this show, Denise would find a clever way to reappear in our series again. Number three in our Viewer's Choice Marathon, Yesterday's Enterprise. That was Yesterday's Enterprise, the third most popular episode in the Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon. By the way, did you notice that the expression military log was used in place of captain's log? That's because the Enterprise had changed from a starship to a battleship. Coming up, the next winner in our Star Trek Marathon. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jonathan Frakes, and this is the Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon. Now it's time to reveal the best of the best. The most popular episode chosen by you, the viewers, is actually a two-part episode, the best of both worlds. When this episode first aired, viewers witnessed one of the most terrifying enemies in the final frontier, the Borg. As the third season cliffhanger, it generated a tremendous amount of fan mail and speculation. Even our writers weren't sure how things would turn out in the end. Get ready for the next exciting installment at our marathon, The Best of Both Worlds, Part 1. Best of Both Worlds, Part 1, in our Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon. You might be interested to know that in an earlier draft of the script, Picard and Data were Borgified into one unit, but that idea never made it to the screen. Coming up next, Part 2 of The Best of Both Worlds. Don't go away. Hi. I'm Jonathan Frakes, and the time has come to present the fifth and final chapter in our Star Trek The Next Generation Viewer's Choice Marathon. The Best of Both Worlds Part 2, together with Part 1, is the show you picked as the number one all-time favorite. This action-packed adventure won Emmy Awards. Well, there you have it, the five all-time winners in our Viewer's Choice Marathon. 
Don't forget to watch the upcoming behind-the-scenes special Journeys and the Saga of Star Trek The Next Generation, hosted by yours truly. And stay tuned for the two-hour series finale of Star Trek The Next Generation, coming soon. I'm Jonathan Frakes. Thank you for joining us.